This is a list that tracks production cuts, factory closures and bankruptcies of German companies due to persisting energy shortages. It's growing by the day. According to a survey among over 1,000 German businesses, a quarter of companies in Germany are planning to cut jobs because of the rise of energy prices. 57% stated that they wanted to postpone planned investments and 17% of companies plan to give up energy-intensive business areas entirely. In other words, Germany is in a process of deindustrialization, and this is acknowledged by an increasing number of people. For example, recently a member of the Chamber of Industry and Commerce in Germany stated that in the medium term there is a risk that Germany will lose her competitiveness in industry. The general manager of the German Chemical Industry Association explains that why this is a problem. Quote, what got us out of the crises of the past few years was the industrial core in Germany. This is now in danger of collapsing. If it comes to that, the situation in Germany will deteriorate dramatically. He continues, we are just a small step away from becoming an industrial museum from one of the largest industrial nations in the world. These are dramatic statements. But why is this actually a problem? For 70 years, the German business model was successfully based on the import of cheap raw materials and energy and their processing and export as expensive high-end products all over the world. Germans benefited from high revenue and trade surpluses. The success of this business model presupposed free competition on all markets, politically unhindered imports and exports, and cheap raw material and energy imports that were always available. However, due to the Ukraine war, this business model is no longer possible. Without sufficiently cheap energy, German industry is no longer competitive in an international comparison. Not only internationally active companies are affected, but also the butcher or baker on the corner. Local businesses depend on their customers' purchasing power not falling. But this is exactly what is happening with inflation driven by high energy prices, which is why so many small businesses in Germany are now closing. And the sad thing is that the worst is yet to come. According to the IMF, Europe's largest economy will shrink by 0.3% in 2023. This strikes me as a very optimistic assumption. Economists from Deutsche Bank research predict that German economy will collapse by 3 to 4% next year and that official inflation numbers will increase to 9%. Alright, so Germany's business model is dead. What will be the consequences for Germany and the rest of Europe? On the one hand, strong industry and a focus on exports enabled the Germans to finance their version of the welfare state. Because this not only provided many jobs, but also a significant part of German tax revenue. As a consequence, the German state will no longer be able to provide some services, or at least not to the same extent. In addition, it was also its strong industry that made Germany the EU's cash cow, so to speak, and which formed the basis for a strong euro. Without a strong German industry, the seemingly endless money flow from Germany to prop up the EU's budget might shrink considerably. Also, there is now little that justifies a strong euro, and as we can see, the markets take a very similar view. What would help the German industry get back on its feet is the availability of sufficient cheap energy. However, this is not possible in the short to medium term. We must therefore assume that Germany and thus Europe will have to overcome major economic difficulties for at least a few more years. Please like and subscribe if you have learned something new from this video. See you in the next one.